Welcome to another episode of DaVinci Resolve Tips and Tricks. This is going to be a quick video that's going to walk you through how to finish your videos broadcast safe. When working on projects for broadcast, it's critical to verify that your film is completely safe for broadcast. I'm just going to grab two random clips and I push them a little bit so they're not safe to broadcast. I know if you come here to, to this wheel, there's a button somewhere that I tend not to use because it doesn't really help to do what we actually want to do in color management, which is showing this broadcast um, safe levels. And then you come here and display broadcast safe exceptions. Um, the highlighted areas are the areas that are not good for broadcasting. And then you have different levels. Um, this is the safest one. Look, if we, go, if we come here, like, absolutely nothing is safe. I really don't find this to be helpful uh, and I just don't use it at all. Uh, I think it's more confusing than helpful and, and this overlay, it just doesn't help. So I'm, I'm gonna disable this and I'm gonna do it, if you will, manually, but I think it's the quickest and more safe way to do it. So for luminance, let me get the waveform bigger for you to see here. Uh, let's make sure you, if you come here, you reset the view just to make sure that it's clean and nothing's been changed. Uh, just to exemplify luminance, I'm going to use this without colorize. So we just see the luma levels. Yeah, so these two images are 10 bit. Um, usually the, the, the legal video levels in DaVinci Resolve falls between 64, the values of 64 and 940. Also, as a recommendation, please ask your broadcaster to send you a, a PDF or documentation of what was the actual requirement because it might change uh, per country. Well, you need to come here. I need to come to the reference levels and at the moment it's the full range, but we're going to cap it at from 64 in the low levels and 940 in the upper levels. And then we want to show that reference. As you can see, we're getting these two reference lines. Um, let's move this just so you can see. Yeah. So whatever you want it for broadcast, usually in a 10-bit image in DaVinci, 64 to 140. This is the first thing. Second thing, I'm going to show you the second thing to look out for, and then we're going to fix these two things, is the colors, the chrominance. So it's nothing better to assess that than the vector scope. Again, if you come here, make sure you're not in like 2x or or something else i mean maybe you're just visualizing the highs i recommend to come here to reset the view i always have my skin tone indicator there by default so this is what the actual representation of the image as it is you can see that the reds and the blues are exceeding the legal ranges this one's just falling a bit in, but there might be some instances that it will just move slightly out of the box. So I like you to, to cap it here by the edge and make 100% sure that nothing is going to be clipped. Okay, so let's start tackling luminance. If you're grading from scratch and you know that this is going to be broadcasted, then obviously you can. the first thing you have to do is bring those level references and, and try to grade around those levels. Okay, so I'm going to treat this as what I got a few weeks back, which is just a progress. So I didn't have the chance to go back and regrade shot by shot. Then yeah, do everything to the right. I do it at the timeline level. So it affects every single clip. But what I do when I go the, the progress file, you, you select the file, you, you come to timeline, you come to detect sync cuts, and I still leave uh, DaVinci to cut clip by clip just in case my, my overall fix doesn't work for w particular, more complicated shots. So this option, and it will do a sterling job of cutting the videos you've got and detecting those scenes. So you're going to have all the clips separated. Again, I'm going to go to a timeline level and start fixing. First note is going to be for luminance, luma fix. The second one is going to be for chrominance, chroma fix. And uh, I'm going to leave a third one here. Um, this is a triple safe node. And I'm going to show you what I do to triple check that everything is safe. So the easiest way to tackle the overall luminance to get these levels are where we need them to is using the low soft 
and the high soft controls here in the curb. And this is something as well that, that I found out that depending on the resolution of the screen and how the DaVinci window shows in your screen will change this from sliders to numerical values. So if you're wondering why mine are sliders and maybe you are looking at numerical values, it's because of that, the resolution specifically. So what I'm doing here, you know, th this is my reference line. So I'm, I'm lifting those low soft to be just above that line. In this case, you know, it's just above and a little bit. So it's, you know, it's triple safe. And I'm gonna do exactly the same with the, so 54.7, I think 54, it's just fine and my highlights so high soft and there just about there the luminance in here is safe and then i'm gonna bring this back full screen and then we're moving to chrominance so obviously you would do like a pass right so you go shot by shot, etc. If there was one specific one that was like super high or badly high, maybe I help that by going on the clip level and just getting into that specific shot and bringing down whether it's a problem with the chrominance or, or luminance, just tackle it individually. But as an overall, I start with the clip that I think is the most problematic and then I'll, I'll triple check every single shot. But this pretty much will cap every shot at the same level but now that we're here let's work let's, on, let's work on the chroma level and we can see that our main culprit is this, this yellow is here it's just yes it's becoming a block of color that we don't want that to happen so this is thing is tackling colors with the curve hue versus saturation curve in this case obviously this is showing us which color which is the yellow with the eyedropper we can click this will give us a reference point and we can bring those yellows but we can see that there's a another peak here it's quite extended so always go broader and softer that you need to and those yellows probably around there you can be more specific I mean if, if you see that this is going too broad and affecting skin tones or whatnot so you can see here that before and you can see the yellows as well and after, let's just bring in those yellows down and make them safe for broadcast. Our other example, and let me get this bigger, we can see that the reds are touching there, the blues are going past uh, that box. So clearly it's the reds and the blues we need to tackle. So if we come here to the blue area and start bringing this down until it's within and as i said just touching the edge of the box over there and same thing with the reds just bringing them down the ever so slightly and we go before and after so now those colors the red and the blues are legal to be broadcasted yeah if you ask me they look uh, deeper and they look nicer Okay, so, so we have these two fixes for the shot. It's going from very deep blacks to something that's going to be safe. But the, the other thing as well, if you feel that by making this, um, I think colors are fine, but when you do the Luma, you feel that you're losing some certain contrast just to make it legal. Don't, don't forget that we're doing this at the timeline level. So this is capping everything we do before so let's say we come here to a contrast if you have the option to you know as us right now i'm grading you know this is a flat image so i'm grading this image from this from the scratch um, so having this at a timeline level will cap everything that you do before so if i want to add more contrast to the shot i'm gonna go a bit crazy but look what look what happens in the vec in the waveform because we're capping at a timeline level yeah, and if this looks already like oh, you know, it's it's too dark. Will that be safe? I'm telling you, everything's safe. What we're doing is bringing all those mids into the lows, and all those mids again into the highs. But all these are legal because we're capping those data levels at this stage. 
so again if you feel that that this was losing contrast then you can go inside and give it a bit more contrast knowing that none of those edges lows and highs will exceed the levels that we need for broadcasting cool so we fix it the luma we fix the chrominance and now i'm gonna leave this last node which is an ofx and this is the gamma mapping so we're gonna come to effects go to the result effects color gamma mapping i'm gonna drop it here so the, the gamma we want to use uh, for output is rec 709 here we are if you can see here on the vector scope when i do before and after there's a very 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 slight change this is making sure that the image is within the legal standards of rec 709 so if you come here so you can see i'm gonna get it bigger just for you to see that everything that we did it's landing within our rec 709 uh, values. If I disable this, you can see that some of that chrominance extension that we can just some little details that it actually doesn't visually. It's so subtle. I don't know if if you can get it um, due to the YouTube compression, but it's so subtle. It's pretty indistinguishable. Um, so yeah, make sure that Rex 9 uh, is set at D65. Yes, and this is how I do a broadcast safe past within DaVinci. Okay, so I hope your next project goes live on TV and you get to use this quick method to make it broadcast safe. Until next time, bye.